I've always wanted to do this. Decide once and for all which one's worse. With the Allegro, they set out to reinvent the wheel. No, really, they did. Look, it's got a square steering wheel. And I'd love to have been at the meeting where they decided to do this because somebody must have stood up and said, I know, let's fit a square steering wheel. And instead of throwing pens at him, everyone else must have gone, square. Good idea. Now, with the marina, they set out to invent absolutely nothing at all. Look, it's got a round wheel. And I'd love to have been at the meeting where they decided to do this, because someone must have stood up and said, hey, let's put a round wheel in it. And everyone else, instead of saying, Oh, come on, stop being so unimaginative. Why can't we have a dodecahedron? They all went, hmm, round. Good idea. This was the point. The Allegro was supposed to have been technically advanced and the marina wasn't. The Allegro was designed to take on the Alpha Sud and the Citroen GS. It was supposed to reflect the fact that we just joined the EEC. It was supposed to be European and chic, a sort of wheeled cappuccino. The marina was designed not to take on the Alpha Sud or the Citroen GS. It was supposed to reflect the fact that six years earlier, we'd won the World Cup. So thanks very much, but we don't want any of your nouvelle cuisine. We want steak and kidney pudding, thanks very much and make sure it's cold and lumpy. They spent £21 million designing the Allegro, which, given the fact it was supposed to be technically advanced, wasn't quite enough. They spent £40 million designing the marina, which, given the fact it was supposed to be hopeless, was obviously too much. There's no reason at all why anyone would have bought either of these cars when they were new, and even less reason for people to buy them today. But they do, you know. You come out of the house and you look at it and you go, that's a handsome car. I do, yeah. It I isn't, I think, you know? it's I think it's a lovely shape. No, it's not. It's an appalling <laughs> shape. It's ghastly. It's wonderful. It's ghastly. It's utterly gorgeous. I call it challenging. Yeah. It's um, fast round corners the marina doesn't do. No, it but doesn't. it's worth trying. Radial ply tyres, disc brakes, alternator. Hideously ugly body, Vol nasty hydro to drive, gas suspension. steering wheel, I... unbelievably slow, couldn't get in the back. And look at the rear suspension. I mean, you probably won't realise this, but that's, that honestly dates from medieval hand carts. <laughs> it's not a particularly bad car, it's just an outstandingly it adequate is. car with mistakes made in it. It does its job, it goes from A to B, it's reliable. It's, it's not it's, reliable. It is. It's not. It's easy to work on. Yes, um, so is a full micro work surface. Part... <laughs> so it really was a complete hodgepodge. Not a complete hodgepodge. I think they knew where they were going. They just lost the plot and didn't look at the competition tightly enough. You know, you can buy a, a, a sort of a Cavalier or, or a Fiesta. I'd probably buy a Princess, actually. <laughs> oh, no! You haven't got the idea of this at all! <laughs> it's foul! It's wonderful! It's horrid! I love it! it I've always really really loved it! Oh. From its piggy eyes to its beautifully rounded styling, I love every inch of it. It's <laughs> a princess! I like princesses! Deciding which is the worst is like deciding which leg you'd most like to have amputated. I'd give the marina one mark for having a good turning circle. And I'd give the Allegro one mark for having a comfy ride as you bounce over the curbs. Only then I'd give the Allegro one more mark for effort. I mean, at least they did try to be different. So there you have it, the Marina wins. It is worse than the Allegro, which must make it pretty damn close to being one of the worst cars ever made.